Hey guys, this is lesson 1.4, decimal division. All right, decimal division, there are three different ways that you can set up a division problem. Now what you're gonna wanna do is push pause, copy this down, and then we'll go over it. All right, so first you have a dividend divided by a divisor equals a quotient. So what this means is just like this. If I wrote 12 divided by 3, it equals 4. That is one way you can write a division problem. Another way you can write a division problem is with this division bar. Now, division bar, you're going to have the 3 on the outside, and then it's like goes into 12 and then 4 times, if you remember that goes into. Or thirdly, you have the dividend divided by the divisor, which is like a fraction. 12 over 3 equals 4. So let's try some examples. Our first one, remember, this is decimal division. Our first one's 12.42 divided by 5.4. So what you're going to do, the first step, is you take this number, the second number, and it goes out front of the division symbol. So you have 5.4, draw your division bar, and then 12.42 goes on the inside. Now, you cannot put 5.4 into anything. It's just way too confusing. So what you have to do is make it into a whole number. So how you do that is you take your decimal point and you move it one spot to the right so it becomes 54. If I do that, I have to do it to this number also and make that a bigger number too. So instead of 12.42, it becomes 124.2. Now the cool thing here is now I know exactly where to put my decimal point because you just follow it straight up. All right, so now I'm going to do 54 into 124. I can't do it into 12, so I kind of just skipped that. And I'm going to do 54 into 124, which is twice. 2 times 54 is 108. And then I'm going to do some division. If you remember lesson 1.2, where we divide or we subtracted decimals. You're going to do some subtraction, sorry. So 14 minus 8 is 6. 1 minus 0 is 1. And then 1 minus 1 is 0. So I have 16. I bring down the 2. 54 goes into 162. I'm going to guess about three times because it's 50 plus 50 plus 50. So let's guess three times. 54 times 3. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 5 is 15. 162. So it was perfectly, worked out perfectly. So our answer was 2.3. Make sure you have this whole example written down in your notes so you can refer back to it. Here is another example. If you want to, you can push pause, try it on your own, and then come back, or you can follow along with me again. So I'm going to put 0.64 on the outside of my division problem. I'm going to have my division bar, and then I have 67.84 goes on the inside. Now, I have to move my decimal two times because I can't have a decimal point in this number, so that means I have to move this decimal two times also and put it right up top. All right, so let's look. 64, I'm not going to try and put it into 6,784. That's way too hard. So just go 64 into 67. That's pretty easy. 64 goes into 67 one time. I write my number right above whatever I just put it into. So 67, you put it in the ones place. So then I'm going to put 64 here and that leaves me with three. I can bring one number down at a time, remember. One number down at a time, so an eight. Now, can 64 go into 38? No. 
So now above this 8 in this empty spot, I'm going to put a 0 because it all has to line up. Now I can bring down this number and I can put 64 into 384. I'm going to guess that it's about a 6 because 6 times 6 is 36 and that'd be about 360. So let's guess a 6 and we'll go over here. 64 times 6 is 24 and then 6 times 6 is 36 plus 2 is 384. Perfect. So my answer is 106. All right, next example, try this on your own, push pause, and then come back and we'll do it together. All right, so this is exactly like if I were to write 56.4 divided by 4.7. This number comes out front, 4.7. I have my division symbol, and then I have 56.4. Now remember, I can't have 4.7. That's way too confusing, so I have to make it a 47. And then I have to move this one time and put that up top. So don't do 47 into 564. That's too hard. So just do 47 into 56. That's one time. I put it right above the 56. So that becomes 47. 56 minus 47 is 9. I bring my 4 down. So now I have to line it up. I have to put what goes above the 4. So 47 goes into 94 twice. So my answer is 12. Last example. You use 0 0.6 pounds of strawberries in each smoothie. How many smoothies can you make with 3.12 pounds of strawberries? So start with 3.12 pounds of strawberries, and I want to divide it into smoothies that are 0.6. Try this problem and then come back. All right, so 0.6 has to go on the outside, division bar, and then 3.12. I can't have a 0.6, so I need to move my decimal one spot. I need to move it one spot here. Don't try to do 6 into 312. Just do 6 into 31 which is five. I carried my decimal point all the way up to this spot. Remember, you go right straight up. Five times six is 30. And then I have one left over. I bring my 12 or my two down and that becomes 12. Six goes into 12 twice. So I can make 5.2 smoothies. All right, that's it for your notes for 1.4. Come to class tomorrow, ready to learn.